Hello, welcome to another episode on Power BI. In this video, we are going to talk about logical operator called a switch and see how it is different from if function. This video is meant for people who are new to Power BI and for that reason, I'll be going through each step slowly and in detail. So first let us go to the Microsoft documentation page and then review the syntax and then try to implement them. So here is the definition in the syntax. Evaluates an expression against a list of values and returns one of multiple possible result expression. Syntax, switch, expression, value, and the result. And again, the value, the result, and the else statement. So it takes four parameter, the expression, the value, results, and then else. So basically you, you need to enter an expression and the result of this expression is matched with this value, okay? And then if it is true, if it matches with the result from expression with this value, you get the result as output, the desired result. You can, it might be a input or a text or a numerical or maybe a reference to a, a different column. So let's quickly try to implement this in PBI and see how this performs. So this is the sample data which I'll be using. I have the name, salary, expense, and cost of living. The salary ranges between zero to 100,000. The cost of living ranges from low, medium to high. And then taking this as an example, let's try to implement the switch function. So let me go to the report and then add a new measure and then call this as switch function. Let me call this as switch example equal to, so I need to write the switch function here. So expression, uh, let me evaluate this column that is cost of living. It has low, medium, high, and then with the help of this expression, this function, I want to categorize the cost of living uh, into three categories. And then let's say if, it, if you have low cost of living, then you save 80% of your salary. And if your cost of living is medium, let's say you save 50% of your salary. And then if it is high, then you just save 20% of your salary. So how do I do that? So now, so since it's a column, right? It's a text, right? And it's like a dimension. I need to use some scalar function to get one output for each record. So I'll use the max function here, max of uh, cost of living. So this gives me, this function gives me one uh, value as output. So it, it'll be, it'll give me either low, medium or high. If this function, what I get here equal to the value that is, let's say low cost of living then I want to, let's say I'll save 80% of my salary. And then if it is medium, I'll save, let's say 50%. Else if it is high, let's say I just save 20%, okay. So instead of writing several if statement, I'm just using one switch function here. And then all these values are compared with the output from this expression. And then based if it is matching, I get the results here. So in this case, 8.8, and 0.2, hit enter. So now if I bring this to the values here, I should be able to get the desired output. So let me convert this into a percentage. This is one of the way we can use a switch function. I'll show you one more example here. Let me add new measure. And then call this as switch example two. In this case, let me use uh, the total salary and then classify if the salary is high, low, medium, okay? switch, let's say total salary, 
before I need to, if it is true, if my expression, if I get the true, and here is my evaluation. If total salary is less than 25,000, then let's say low salary. Total salary is less than 50,000. Let's call it as medium salary. And then I need a comma here. Total salary is less than or equal to let's say 100,000. Then let me call this as high salary. Okay, and now hit enter. Bring this to the value here. You can see it's what, what it does is, this is my expression. So it, this one has true. If this is true and the result of this condition, right? If this condition is true, this true equal to this true, the values, get me this as a result. Similarly, if this particular statement is true, which is equal to my expression here, then give this as my result. Similarly, if the statement, the result from the statement is equal to true, and which is equal to my expression here is equal to true, then show it as high salary. One important thing here is like the order in which you input the values here, right? So it, if you are doing uh, using a less than operator, try to start with uh, the smallest value and the next value and the last value. If you do the other way, you may not get the right numbers. Okay, so that's very important. So this is how switch function works. I can do the same thing with if function. Okay, so if I use if function here, let me call this as if example one, and then I can use the same function here. If total salary is less than 25,000, give me low salary. The second if, if that fails, I'll go to my second if is less than 50,000 give me medium salary. The final statement here, if total salary is less than or equal to 100,000, then result is high salary. Hit enter. And now let me bring this to the values here. I still get the same results using the switch. And if switch function is very useful when you have a text or a dimension and then you use a scalar function within it, and then it's easy to use. But if you are using multiple if, I think it you might face some performance issue, but uh, at least I never had a, such a lengthy statement, so I did not face any issues, but it's always better to use switch function. So I hope this is clear. So with this, we are gonna close this discussion. If you have any questions, I don't hesitate to drop a note in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and then see you in the next video. Thank you, have a great day.